So I've got a few emails about how do we edit PDFs for our students. Um, I know that when you try doing it in Google Drive, it kind of shifts everything around with the formatting. And so I found one that I thought might be good for us. It is, um, it's called PDF to go. And I signed up for an account. I signed out, I signed up for a free account. So I'll log out showing you guys how I went about this. Um, I went to sign up and I went to the basic option that's completely free. And then I said, I'm going to use my Google account for that. And I just pick my school one. So it's probably going to tell me I already have an account or we're good to go. Nope, I'm good to go. So here we go. Um, the reason why it's showing the screen, by the way, is I already have an account. It just gave me the option to upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade. So I'm going to go to the dashboard here, the tools, where it says edit PDF. I'm going to now have the option to choose a file from my desktop or choose a file from my drive. This is probably the one that you guys are going to use the most. So I use my drive and then it's going to sign me into my drive. And then I'm going to pick the PDF document that's going to work the best. Um, for instance, like here's an AP world history one. So I select that one. It's going to upload. And now it's going to take me to the screen where it's going to have its tools. So I think for a lot of us, we kind of use the same ones. We have some text tools that we can use and I can put text somewhere. If I wanted to do some annotation, here is my notes. Um, highlighting is always a popular one with us. So we have a highlighting tool. Uh, there's a pencil that you can write over the document. And then again, if you make mistakes, there's whiteouts. And you can white, oh no, sorry. If you want to get rid of something, you can use a whiteout. All these are deletable as well. If you make mistakes there, you can get rid of all this stuff um, and use the undo options and so forth. So it's all there for you. Um, you can add images and so forth. The way that your students would probably save this is gonna be on their desktop. So you can save here and be given the option to download the actual file. It will download to their computer, which then they can actually download to or upload to their Google Drive, which I think might help you guys. So here's my document, and now I can put this in my Google Drive, or then I can save it to your Canvas account or to your Google Classroom. So I think this works. Um, we can play with it some more, but I just found it. I had some teachers ask, so here is one solution.